Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Java certifications. Now I know many of you are trying to pursue Java as a skill and some of you are even thinking about uh, doing a certification in Java. So how good is that? And in fact, I'm going to be talking about what I, per I personally think about the certifications of Java. This is going to be really helpful in case you are a beginner and you are most attracted by the Java and want to do certification in that. So we'll be talking all about this. Now before we even proceed on to that as well, I would like to say thank you so much from the core of my heart because we have hit a 10k sub mark there. Now 10k subscriber is a big deal, especially because I've been just focused on the YouTube from last just a couple months. And it's really awesome to see that uh, people really actually want some programmer to talk about uh, real programming stuff, real technology stuff there. So really happy for that. And with this, now let's go ahead and move on and talk about the Java stuff. In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps, and pretty much everything related to technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. So we are talking about the certification in Java in here. And to be honest, this was a YouTube comment, I guess. Let me just show you uh, what we have got in here. And uh, let me open up that. Uh, you'll be seeing that on your screen, but I have to open it up on my, on my phone. So let's just go and start in here. So uh, I guess, yes, this was a YouTube comment and I'm trying to answer your question in here. Hi, Hitesh, sir. My name is Alim. Uh, hey, Alim there. How are you? I'm studying BSCIT. This is my last sim. I wanted to do certification in Java, but I'm little worried about scope of Java in future. I know it's an awesome programming language and I, I also like it so much. So please give me your advice on my question. Thank you so much. You're doing great. Thank you so much, first of all. Now, let's keep it aside and talk about in scenario in general about the certification. Now, before I proceed that, I would like to make an analogy there and would like to take you to the another world scenario. Now, I know this is relatives. Bear with me for a second there. Now, try to imagine a scenario of fitness world. Okay, so I know some of you might be hitting gym. Some of you might be runners there. But uh, imagine a scenario that uh, do you think that Nike owns the fitness or maybe Adidas? Adidas owns the fitness. Without the Nike shoes, you won't be able to uh, run or maybe if in the fitness. Is that the so, so the thing? Not at all. You might be disagreeing with that. So yes, uh, Nike doesn't own the fitness. Uh, yes, definitely they are helpful when you want to uh, maybe run a little bit mile extra. They are comfortable. They can push you a little bit extra. But you have to be on your own runner. And all I'm trying to say in here is you can be a runner in other shoes as well. So uh, let's come back in here and compare the same analogy with the certification module that Oracle is doing. And I've, I personally think it's completely wrong that they're the kind of scenario and environment they're trying to build up. Now, all I'm saying is Java is an awesome language. No doubt about it. And you can use Java for creating Android apps, desktop apps, maybe some web application programming as well. So that is one great thing. But going for the certification, if you can afford, that's awesome. You can go for the certification. But even if you cannot afford the certification, I don't know why you are going behind that. It's not like uh, having a certification is going to automatically land up you in the job or something. In the present environment, cert uh, certification are great. They are awesome only if you can afford them. With the present modern world, uh, if you cannot afford, which most of the students cannot afford, still are uh, uh, kind of uh, collecting uh, their money and spending in the certification, I, I don't see any profit in that uh, because you can spend that much amount of money in maybe taking an Android developer license and can push your apps to the Android store. Or maybe you can buy a Mac mini or maybe a, a other Mac Apple computer and can start programming for Apple as well. Or maybe you can buy some Heroku application server and can launch your application there. So all I'm trying to say is uh, save some money with you. Certification are not that much required. Be open-minded. If you know that programming language, uh, that awesome. Uh, put it on the GitHub, uh, upload some application, design some apps in that, and that's all about it. Now, on top of that, I would also like you to compare the same scenario with Python. Since Java is kind of a language which is governed by Oracle and Oracle is launching insane amount of certification on that. Now, let's just say I'm a programmer in Python. What kind of certification I do have to pursue? Nothing at all. 
So that's the exact same kind of mindset I want you, everybody to have. Uh, what kind of certification do PHP requires? Nothing at all. You just need to learn PHP and upload your application and that's the proof that you know the language. Uh, creating this myth that in order to learn Java, you have to go for certification. I don't think so that's going anywhere because uh, programming environment and programming society is getting advanced and getting smart day by day. They are not looking for certification anymore. They are looking what kind of job you can do, what kind of skills do you have, how much time you have spent with the programming and all these stuff. So my personal would be personal advice would be uh, instead of going for the certification, you can buy some other tech gadgets and tech stuff which can help you further in the enhancement of your programming career. And again, if you are still confused, just try to imagine how much certification does a Python guy have. Since there is no organization like Oracle being governing the Python, that is why you don't see anybody just running madly after the certification there. Now again, all of these are my, are my personal views. I'm not saying certification are always bad. Yes, they are good if you can afford them. If you cannot afford them, spend that much amount of money in learning more skills. Again, completely my personal opinions, my personal advice. I'm not against any company. I'm not against any certification. They all are awesome and you should be doing them if you can afford them. But again, I hope this very thoroughly answers everything about your question. Again, uh, think about the Python and the Java and again, all of that. If you love that programming language, stick with it. We need programmers who love some programming language and create some app. I would definitely like to love to see what you have created. Post that on the GitHub, post that in the comment section below. I would definitely like to love to see uh, what you have created in there. With this, uh, if you think that this video was helpful for somebody, uh, make sure you share that on social media and I'm looking forward for your support. Hit that subscribe button and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.